what do you enjoy the most about playing the character of Orpheus? And the answer about getting a paycheck doesn't count. What do you like? <laughs> uh, do you like well, character? yeah, well, I I just like the fact that he is. Um, I think he's funny and interesting, and I mean, he says funny things. They write it very well. It's, he's he's uh, cerebral, and he has these sarcastic uh, comments, and um, so he has a real sense of humor, a sharp, sharp, edgy sense of humor. Um, and uh, I like some of the references. I liked how yesterday I, I said to Kayla as I she lay sleeping. I said, "Ill, ill met by moonlight, proud to Tanya." Um, which is King Oberon in Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, and uh, it's a great line. It's a beautiful line, perfect for that situation. But that's that's that takes some real thinking on the part of the writers to come up with that. And uh, so I like that, the, the, the intellectual aspect of him and, and, the, and the wry, biting humor that he has. I like the fact that he is... Um, single-minded, driven by this great, great pain that he felt so long ago. And and I think in life, you know, we all experience loss and pain. There's no getting around it, but it's how you respond that counts. It's, it's you know, how you, how you ultimately have to embrace your own narrative in life. We all have a story, a narrative to live, and some people are always at odds with the narrative and always rejecting what's happened to them and they're always dealing with that that inability to 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 grapple with the truth of their lives and in in terms of orpheus clearly he chose not to accept something so so painful and to deal with it by trying to inflict pain on the people that he believes caused it you know it was an accident but he believes that uh John slash Roman uh, caused this, and um, and this pain in his life, and all the people around him, his 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 wife and friends, and so he's determined. He's just and 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 that kind of thing builds up its own steam. Once you go to the dark side, it kind of it kind of uh, exponentially grows over time. You know, you just it festers and it's it, it's it metastasizes. It's like an emotional cancer that just eats at you. And so I think that is what drives him, and that's the kind of thing that can keep a person alive. It can keep them alive through a lot of, like, being in prison or, or whatever, you, because you have a single focus, something that drives you, a target, a, an obsession. And so I think that's that's interesting to play, and um, and I understand it. I, I mean, I understand how a person could, could be that way. And so, uh, so it's easy to get behind it, you know, to, to motivate it and, and to get behind the pain and the anger and the rage. Yeah, I think the writers also did a good job of tapping into that when Orpheus had the dialogue with uh, Roman slash John, you know, about his wife. And then you realize, oh, yeah, that happened, you know, and, just, and so it really, I think they're doing a, a good job with flashbacks and bringing it back, you know, the whole mm-hmm. background. So, you know, yeah, especially for those of that, who too. saw the original run, you know. Yeah, you'll see more of that as it goes along. Um, there's a really interesting scene coming up, I think, pretty soon. I don't know if it's today or next Monday or Tuesday. Um, with Joey, whom I have now taken, you know, captured, uh, mm-hmm. uh, stolen, kidnapped. And so there's a there's a really nice episode where Orpheus just kind of lets his guard down a little bit and opens up a little bit. You can see his emotional torture um, of what he's living with and carrying around. And that, that, that was really, I loved, I loved that they did that. Um, you know, it's, I'll tell you what's interesting, too, just just fascinates me. This is not really about, about the show or about acting, but it affords the opportunity for me to look, just the other day, there was a shot where I was, it was a it was a recall. I was sitting there, I don't know if you saw it, I was sitting there alone in this warehouse, and I think the last thing that I say is, it, who says you can't go home again, you know, I think it's the, the Hardy line, and I go, well, um, I say, but before that, there's a flashback, he's sitting there alone, he's flashing back on his wife being, no, of, of, of Orpheus shooting, or shooting Marlena, and having uh, 
John Black or Roman uh, bent over her, thinking she's dead. Well, it turns out she's just tranquilized. But but there's a flashback of that scene. I think it was a Stockholm a Stockholm scene. Yeah. And so yeah. I mm-hmm. yeah. And and then there's this. It comes in the camera comes in really close to me. A, a tight shot of me 30 years ago as as young Orpheus. And then it dissolves into the same angle, same about the same close-up uh, size shot of, of me now, today, 30 years later. And I was watching with my wife. I said, wow, that is absolutely the rarest, most fascinating thing, that you could see yourself just 30 years go by and just see one shot, a next shot. When does that ever happen? When? I mean, it, I, I honestly can't think of it. It just, I mean, obviously you can... You can edit people in movies, say, oh, here's, you know, Henry Fonda at age 30, and here he is at 60, and you can do that. You, but, but just in a show, in an actual show that you're watching, for that to happen on, on the screen, I just thought that was so interesting. I mean, I mean, I suppose some people would be horrified to see themselves that way, but, but I just, from a human point of view, I just thought that's a fascinating, fascinating thing to see, you know, for me. Do you have, like, any favorite scenes or storylines, either from your time in the 80s or from these current shows uh, that just really stand out in your mind of work on days that you really were proud of, really enjoyed? Well, you know, I, I liked the uh, the stuff we did back then in Stockholm, um, which we shot at Universal on the back lot. And uh, I think originally at the time we there was talk of going to Stockholm doing a a European uh, location, and that was kind of cool and exciting, but I guess they decided that was pretty expensive and decided to, to just do it on the back lot of Universal and some of the European streets. And um, and I love that because I'm a big fan of old movies and of, of old Hollywood and Hollywood history. So I had been a contract player for Universal for a, a couple of years. I was one of the, one of the la- in the last group of contract players they had in the um when I first came out here in the eighties. And um in seventy eight, seventy nine, eighty. But um but anyway, so I'd worked on some some of the, I've seen some of those sets and lots and I mean uh you know, uh, just old period sets and so I'd I'd been there but, but to to be running around the streets where Frankenstein was shot, you know, in these European mm-hmm. little streets and cobblestone streets and and fake buildings, and that I just I thought, wow, this is this is Hollywood history, and I remember just those whatever a week or ten days we spent there, just having the best time. We did some night shoots, and we were running around with guns, and and uh, it was just a lot of fun. It was like uh, you know a kid's dream come true. Oh, that's and, wonderful. And today, the, you know, about <laughs> scenes now, the scenes that I like now. Um, well, you know, they're all uh, really. There's so many interesting scenes that are coming up. I like I, I mentioned the one with Joey, and but there's other really cool stuff encountering different different people, different actors, and different characters. And what they have us do um, is pretty is pretty radical. I mean, I, I, I think you're right, Laurie. It's fun to see the town, the entire all the characters in Salem galvanized by this event, this arrival of these three people and what they're doing to the town. And you, you wait, you see, that it's pretty radical. I mean, it's pretty interesting what, they, what they've what they devised, the writers, and I commend them for that. It's, it's really good stuff. 